years ago, there lived a king and queen who were very much in love. They had anything and everything they wanted, except a child. And this made them very sad. And then one day, things changed. Some things for the good, and some things, well, you'll see. One afternoon, a frog heard the queen crying as she bathed in the river. He told her not to be sad, for within one year, her wish would be granted, and she would have a beautiful baby girl. Trim me this one down to size. Yes, dear. I came back as soon as I received your message. Oh, what is so urgent? Do you notice anything unusual? Anything unusual? Ah, yes, the, the royal painters have done a lovely job on the room. Only they missed one little spot. Ah, no, that's not it. Look around and tell me what's new in the room. Let's see. The fireplace looks the same. Uh, the chairs haven't been reupholstered, have they? No, wait, don't tell me. There's the baby's cradle. Isn't that cute? And. Uh, Baby's cradle? You mean you're going to have, I mean, no, we, I mean, we're going to have a cradle? I mean, I mean a baby? A baby to put in that cradle? Oh, forgive me, darling. I should have known as soon as I entered the room because, because, well, frankly, you don't know how to knit. <laughs> To honor the occasion, they decided to have a big party, and they invited seven fairies of the kingdom. <coughs> Attention! My wife and I have invited all of you here to celebrate the birth of our daughter. <laughs> Princess and heir to the throne of our kingdom, I, Hector, give to her the gift of beauty. A <laughs> uh, says uh, she would, <laughs> she would like to <laughs> give our little princess <laughs> the gift, the gift of <laughs> laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I, Oscar, grant the princess the talent to play any musical instrument she sets her hand to. And I, Jewel, give to the princess, give to the princess, oh, grace. She will be graceful. <laughs> <laughs> Extra fairy dust, mine's a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> and we, Tinder and Tinder, wish to give the royal princess the gift of dancing and the gift of singing. The Queen and I thank you, one and all. Your gifts are most appreciated. I'm only sorry that Lily couldn't be here for this celebration. <gasps> Ursula, uh, 
What are you doing here? That is not the question! The question is, why wasn't I invited? Answer me! We thought, I mean, that is, we were told, so we assumed you were... <laughs> right. Uh, he means we all heard that you were dead, Ursula. What? Where did you hear this? Now, Ursula, who knows where these rumors get started? Uh, the fact is, none of us have seen you for a long time. Oh! Oh, I'm late again! Oh, I just can't seem to get anywhere on time! <gasps> a gift! I haven't thought of a gift for the baby! Oh, oh, oh! Well, I'm sure I'll think of something. Well, since we're all in the gift-giving spirit, I have one for the little princess. None of your gifts will help this child, for one day when you least expect it, she will touch her finger to the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. <gasps> You're wrong, Ursula. I'm Gift. You're never going to be invited to my parties giving gifts like that. I don't have the power to change me or Ursula's gift, so you will have to stick your finger. But you won't die. You'll just sleep for a hundred years. And then the handsome son of a king will come and wake you with a kiss. Just remember, before he can kiss her, you'll have to get to her. And that might not be so easy. <laughs> Thank you, Lily, for saving my daughter's life. And I think we should take one more precaution. And from this day forth, there shall be no spinning wheels allowed in our kingdom. Burn them! Destroy them all! This won't stop, Ursula, will it? No, Lily. She's too powerful. We will have to watch over our princess day and night and never let her out of our sight. Wait, princess. Not so fast. She is? Well, 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 not exactly. Oh, but she is in the castle, uh, 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 someplace. Whoa! Someplace? This is a big castle. Something terrible could happen to her by the time we find her. Oh, what could happen? We were just playing a... <gasps> oh, no! I forgot about Ursula. It's 
nobody's fault, Lily. It was just a matter of time before Ursula's curse came true. And it's because of you that our princess is only sleeping. Uh, sleeping? That's it! Uh, how long does she have to sleep? For 100 years, when a king's son will awaken her with a kiss! I like that part! <laughs> Me too! <sighs> Unfortunately, we won't be around to see that happy day. If you sleep with her, then you will awake with her. And that happy day will be yours to share. Oh, Wanda, that's a wonderful idea. Well, what about me? They were my words. Shouldn't I get some credit? There. Feel better? <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and heroic gentlemen, we have a lot of work to do if we are to preserve this day just as it is for years to come. Sleep well, your majesty and my queen. And when you awake, it will seem as if only a moment has passed. It out. It's time to take a nice long century off. supposed to do now. We wait, just like our sleeping princess and all those inside the castle. But how will we know which king's son should kiss the princess? Yes, how will we know? We'll know. When the time is right, the right one will show up. Not long after the castle had been put to sleep, the thorn bushes that the king had intended to destroy began to grow. And grow. And grow. In fact, the thorn bushes had grown so tall and so thick that reaching the castle had become virtually impossible. Over the years, as word spread of the beautiful sleeping princess inside the castle, many tried their best to rescue her. This day, I shall rescue the fair sleeping princess! <laughs> and many failed. As the years passed, many tried time and again to rescue the princess. Today, I try yet again to rescue the fair sleeping princess. <laughs> and many fail yet again. And after many, many years had passed, all of the would-be rescuers... Today, I, I, I shall, I, I shall... ...gave up. Ah, uh, forget it! And yet, despite the passing years, inside the castle was as if no time had passed at all. And the lovely princess 
Jazz, suspended in a timeless sleep, could only wait for the day that one man, the right man, would wake her with a kiss. She's the right one? I just know it! We need to rest, old friend. Perhaps have a drink of water. Who is it? Who's speaking? <laughs> if we know he's here, so does Ursula. And if he's the right one, she won't let him cross. What? Come on, Lloyd, let's go. <laughs> He's the one. I don't know how to have fun.
Just let me sleep another five minutes. Another five minutes? You've already had a hundred years. A hundred years? The princess! Yes, the princess! I mean, the invitation. The invitation to... Ursula! Sleeping Beauty and her prince were married in a joyous and splendid ceremony. And they were happily united to the end of their days. Sleeping Beauty, open up your eyes and greet a new day so bright. You've been asleep for a hundred years, awake to the morning, the land is full of light. Love has opened your eyes. Blessed to this land, a gift from up above, raised in happiness and love. Cursed by the evil, to the day your prince arrives, sheltered by the fairies who stay right by your side. Love has opened your eyes. Now. Special Prince is here to wake you 